Hi there, Bob and Heidi. I just wanted to do this quick video just to show you how I do my keyword research. Uh, what I've got here is a spreadsheet and um, I've got some of the keywords that you were looking at. These are the companies that you're looking at and these were the keywords. And uh, I've already populated some of the data here and I got some of this data over here from Google um, Keyword Tool. Uh, this is the estimated uh, cost per click um, for this uh, pay-per-click uh, advertising global search and local search this would be local to America not local to the area where we are but I'm sure you guys are aware of that as you do pay-per-click anyway um, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go over to Google and I'm just gonna show you what I got over that's where I pulled the data from it was over here but interesting when I actually typed in the keywords which are the phrases the keyword phrases that Heidi gave me um, and I clicked the show only ideas closely related it came up with 800 terms so we might want to look at some of these other terms here when I just uh, pop, uh, brought up the uh, higher search volumes here and we might want to target some of these other keywords over here um, and I'll show you how we'll go about doing to see if they're worth targeting with using my spreadsheet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet and I'm going to take the next one which is the hosted WCM as a keyword. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to come back here to Google and we're going to put it into Google um, and we see what we come up with. Now what we do is we see the results over here. This is what I'm looking for. It's 1.15 million uh, oh. and I'm going to copy that and go back to my spreadsheet and I'm going to look here for the Google broad search and I'm going to type that in over here and I'll show you what all this color coding means in the meantime now while I'm in the broad search here I want to go over to the video tab over here and see how many video results we get for it and we see we get 85 uh, back to my spreadsheet and videos broad I'm going to type in there um, paste in the number that I got there and then the next thing we're looking for is the Google exact so we just uh, put the quote marks in and this will give us an exact result um, under videos we are still under the video tag we get 10 All right so that's a good sign um, and we put this videos exact and I want to put it in there and then we go back to um, the web and we try to get the exact result there and we get 4110 and I copy that into there and I put this over here in this column and then <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to um, find the all in title what that means is that when Google tags anything that um, gives it a t gives it a title um, whether it be the video hosted or the article that's written um, we want to see if this word comes up all in the title and how we do that is all in title uh, the colon and it'll bring back the results for me and I see we got 58 and that is under everything so that's good uh, all in title would be uh, Google all in title and we also want to get that for the video all in title for this column over here so we go back to the video page and we still at 10 over here so it's still looking good um, <clears throat> and video all in title would be uh, 10 over here now the next thing I want to do is we go back to this I want to see if Google pulls up any video results when we're looking just for the main the broad keyword term and I go back to this so we're searching the web and if I scroll down here I don't see any videos at the moment and I just like to go to the second page and just have a look and see if we're getting any videos coming up and we see we don't which is also oh wait right at the bottom here we got a couple of videos but that's still good um, but we'll be able to get on this page at least here but uh, you know hopefully of course on the first page and that's what we're looking for so that's good so what I'm going to do is in this column over here I'm going to type in no uh, there were no search videos and then the next thing I want to do is I want to see how much activity there is in the videos and this gives us a date when these videos were uh, uploaded and we see May 2009 2009 I'm looking for the earliest one 
and saw 2008, uh, August 2009. So that's uh, August the 12th, 2009. That's looking like the newest one, which is also a good thing. There's not a lot of activity here. So we go back here and uh, uh, just type in August 2009. That would be. Uh, Okay, and was the content relevant to what we, these videos, sometimes we get a, a web content management or if you like that one, uh, that one keyword that you guys had, which was uh, uh, hot banana, obviously comes up with a lot of stuff that's not related to what we're trying to think here, but this is relevant to what we are um, targeting here with this keyword hosted WCM so I'm going to put yes over here and that is more just for me just to see uh, uh, that uh, and this this was yes over here as well I didn't fill it in and now what you want to do is you want to go and color code and we these are what the criteria I use and so we want to do we can see that that is above the 1 million mark so we're going to uh, highlighted in red and we below the 50 so that's good um, here we below our threshold that's good this percentage here is good um, that's good that's good and well this is all entitled that's actually sort of bad but what so I'm just gonna do that there this one over here is gonna be neutral and then this and this one is gonna be good so as we can see here, even although we have a, a high broad search for this term over here, and sometimes that might be a red flag, it's not really because we have a lot of green here. Um, and so this keyword would be a good keyword for us to um, target for the videos and the articles. And that's how I go about doing my research. Obviously, uh, I would complete this uh, complete uh, spreadsheet and we can then take the data and formulate a plan in order to um, craft the videos around these keywords and articles around these keywords. So this is just a little explanation of how I go about doing the uh, keyword research. Thank you.